Live from the Frederick P. Rose Hall, home of jazz at Lincoln Center in New York, New York. It's The Q at IBM Z Next, redefining digital business. Brought to you by headline sponsor, IBM. Hi, I'm John Furrier, the founder of The Cube and SiliconANGLE Media. We are here live in New York City for the IBM System Z event here with Neil. Uh, Neil, welcome to this awesome event. Great to have dinner with you last night. We had a great conversation about the future of everything. So, I got to ask you, you know, cloud, mobile, and social, obviously big trends. What do you think of the System Z announcement in context to a global cloud mobile world? That's interesting. I, I've been following IBM for quite a while. Um, the system Z, uh, not Z, as we pronounce it in uh, the UK. Yeah, that's a European thing. It is, yeah. Um, I would say it's probably, I, I love IBM tech. They're, it is ultra geeky. It's resilient for resilience sake. And, you know, when, back in the days when I used to own and run MSPs, uh, it was always deemed very elitist. Um, now, coming back with the launch of System Z today, the advances they have in, the, in that product line is incredible. Um, my vision for that, quite literally for System Z, uh, is like literally a, a big black cloud box. Um, this is what I think, uh, I, my vision of, of that particular machine. In effect, it's so resilient, it hits every box that a cloud service provider should hit. Resiliency, fault tolerance, scalability, you hit the price points, uh, and I know it sounds like I'm selling the, the product, I'm not. Uh, You're totally pimping IBM. <laughs> well, I, I see. Uh, All right, so where does it suck? Put you on the spot. Uh, it, it could be a little bit out of somebody's price points. Um, I don't like the name, Mainframe. No. Do you? I mean, I mean, Mainframe's old, my yeah, grandfather, yeah. but I mean, it's got some serious Ferrari sports car-like mojo. Yeah, I, I would call it something else. You know, um, it's, it's due a reboot. You know, it needs a big push to, uh, to literally attract the younger generations coming through that see the mainframe tech as something that your dad would use to be involved in, you know. So obviously performance is huge, Ferrari and young guns should get that young generation, but here's the bottom line. I was talking to a huge bank, I won't say their name here in New York City earlier today, and they said that they have a batch window and they cannot miss the market. They're down at all, and he said, quote, I've already bought four, this thing never goes down. I totally believe that, absolutely. It's, it's like a New York taxi, it just keeps going. You know, it'll go on and on and on. And uh, I, like I said before, I like the tech, uh, ultra, ultra techy. Um, trying to convert that to everything else that's on the market is very difficult. Do you, I mean, do customers care if they have a mainframe in their data center? I mean, it's just another system, so like, no one really cares what's in the rack as long as it's kick ass. To be honest, now that's exactly what people should think. They don't, you should not be worried about the tech. It's, can it do the job? Is it, is it a price point? Is it reliable? Yes. Do you really care what it runs in and runs on? Really? Absolutely not. We've become a, a culture of armchair critics with Google searches. And in all fairness, uh, the, the less educated you are with technology, uh, I think it'd be more better uh, in the long run where you put your, your faith in a, a company to do it properly. So basically, fault tolerance, security, low latency delivery performance seems to be the hot buttons of this solution. Is the market ready for this? I mean, is it, is this, will this level up the kind of laggers, laggards out there? I know many, many MSPs that just load themselves up with gray box and, uh, and unbadged uh, Intel boxes. I just will make do. And you could scrap all of that and have the manageability of this one big black box that does it all for you. I know the price point it can be deemed a little bit enterprise level and a cost, but at the end of the day, it's serious tech for serious cloud people. Neil, talk about what you are and what you do and what your hobbies are. You got a podcast. Share with the audience yeah. out there about you know what you work on, what do you do day to day, and what's your podcast about. Yeah, well, the podcast is great. We look at cloud in a completely alternative way. Uh, trying to reach people that have a little bit of technical understanding, but make it funny, make it factual, and educational. And 
we took we picked many, many issues. Um, cloud dating was one, relating it to DB2 databases. How could you ever possibly do that? Um, to the Internet of Things, we equated that to an Internet of Toilets at one episode, which actually any internet-enabled gadget now is out and about and you can buy it. So, but we make light-hearted fun of it, so we reach a different audience. And day-to-day, -day, you're analysts, we get a... Yeah, day-to-day, we, -day we advise cloud, cloud strategies, we talk at events. Well, pretty All right, what's, what's the coolest thing you've done in your life for work, technology-wise? In a technical, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you put that in the end of it. Uh, the cool go both, go, go non-technical okay. and uh, technical. All right, the pretty, one thing's pretty cool is advising one of the largest companies in the world on their global strategy and then adopting it. That's pretty cool. So you set the table and they ate the dinner. Absolutely. All right, how about cool thing that you've done that's like not tech? Uh, I jumped out of a plane where my parachute didn't, didn't work which was quite crazy, and luckily the reserve parachute kicked in. All right, so the question is, who packed your parachute? Uh, some people would say my wife. Uh, uh, in fact, I would say my wife. Ex-wife or wife? Uh, mm, at the wife. I'm always looking for the future ex, Mrs. Cannibal. <laughs> always pack your own parachute. That's Absolutely. what I tell my kids. Neil, thanks for joining us. We'll be back. This is the Cube Remote Cube Conversations, live in New York City. We're right back.